So today's video is going to be all audio over top of training clips. I was in too much of a rush during Tuesday, uh, not only during the training session, but just the day as a whole to actually record any sort of an intro or outro. Not that I usually record uh, one that brings great value by any stretch of the imagination, but regardless, sometimes I guess it's a little better to speak live. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, you'll notice that one of my prime movements on volume day has switched from a volume football bar to an incline press at 205 pounds for five sets of five across pretty decent starting point uh, seeing as that used to be my one rep max about five years ago and I haven't done it since so introducing a new second or a new um, primary pressing exercise to include some more variation and of course it's going to provide quite the progressive yield because I haven't done it in so long and my foundation is so low relative to my flat bench press as well as my current football bar um, press as well. Follow that up with some close grip pull downs for five sets of 15. And then went into the single arm landmine row up landmine upright row variation, which I've never done before. Uh, and I was just fooling around with the landmine the other day and the new attachment we had. And I said, you know what? I have a feeling this is really going to be good for trap development. And as you know, from the previous vlog so far, I've been prioritizing the traps quite a bit. Uh, then went into a new 10 rep max on the skull crusher at 106.5 pounds for four sets across. I was extremely encouraged by this, A, because the elbows did not hurt, and B, because it was a 1.5 pound all-time PR, which is actually a huge progression considering the size of the triceps, a relatively large muscle on the arms, sure, but considering a comparison to like the legs or chest as a whole, it's a very uh, specific movement to move a greater load on. And then a 66 pound by 20 rep set of barbell curls. I managed to complete two. Uh, this will be my only bicep movement that'll show up for two sets a week for the next four weeks. And this was also a one pound progression on a previous 20 rep max. So an overall good upper body volume training session. And we'll be playing with these exercises for the next four weeks on that road to a 600 pound deadlift, which is not too far off now as we continue to chip away at those weekly progressions.